Welcome to Mr. R's Art Class. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thumbs, subs, and ring that bell. So for this project, I'm going to show you how to create a art portfolio, right? So again, it's really important for you to be able to show off your work, right? You've done all this work. Um, some of these files might be all over the place on your laptop. So you're going to create a portfolio so that you have it all in one place. You want to be able to show your progress from the beginning of the year to now. You also want to show uh, the, the process that you took to create some of the work, right? So maybe some of those early renders that we did for your 3D sphere. You could show some of the references that you had and then your final product. Um, I'll show you how to, to take some of those Word documents and flatten them out to a PDF so that they're, they're able to load inside of Sway. Um, we're also going to show the different steps that we took in order to 3D print something, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you two quick examples. One of them is going to be for something simple that we did inside of Microsoft Word, and then something might be a little bit more challenging for that took a lot more steps, like the 3D printed avatar. So we're going to show all the different steps that we took to create this avatar, something that started out as a sketch, a quick 3D render inside of Tinker, Tinkercad, and then actually printing this out, right? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you two different examples. One of them is going to be a really simple example of how to create a sway for a simple project that we've done in the past. And then maybe for a, a another example where you have a lot of references, a lot of resources, you have um, something that you actually printed and we're going to bring that inside of Sway. So you can watch in these two videos that I've provided for you. This first video is going to be a quick overview of Sway and all the different things that you could do inside of Sway. The second one here is going to give you a little bit more detailed steps of how to use Sway for the different things that they show you inside of this video. So this, again, this first video is going to be really short and quick. It's going to be a quick overview of Sway. This second video is going to be a lot, little bit more detailed if you want to know how um, you could add some extra things inside of Sway. So I'm going to show you again this first example here inside of Sway using that project that we did early in the year for the sphere inside of Microsoft Word. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to Edge and let me just show you what Sway looks like once we go into it. And Sway is going to be this button here. Uh, it might be a little rearranged here for you. Um, if you hover over it, it would say Sway. Um, usually when you go inside of Office, you have your, your Word documents. Um, this would be Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive, OneNote. Don't confuse Sway for SharePoint, right? They look kind of similar. So make sure that when you hover over it, it says Sway. You click on it and it'll take you here. So it's going to give you some templates. You could either start from blank. You could start from a document, like a Word document. You can use these, these templates here that it provides for you. I'm going to click here where it says More Templates. And I'm going to click on this portfolio one, right? Because that's what you're creating. You want to be able to, again, you want to be able to show some of the work that you've created in this class and be able to show that off. You could click through any of these other examples here, um, but I'm going to use this portfolio one. Uh, the reason why is because there are different parts to this template that you could that you could throw your work into. So let's see how this goes. So portfolio title. I know, Again, you could go through this real quickly to see what your portfolio is going to look like. So it's going to have a lot of images. We're going to substitute some of these images out here for your work. So we could start editing. You click here where it says start editing. And it's going to prepare your template. And so the portfolio title could be your name. This could be your name. And you could talk a little bit about your work. Section one, wherever it says section, that could be the project that you want to be able to show off. So this could be uh, 3D Sphere in Word, in Microsoft Word. Right, this image here could be your image from your 3D sphere that you completed inside of Microsoft Word. So one thing I want to show you is also how to convert some of your images, some of the, the documents from Microsoft Word into a PDF. So let's see if it lets us do that here. So I'm going to go inside of our file explorer. I'm going to click over here where it says documents. 
the academic year, the period you have my class, the semester we're currently in, and this is just an example of the of the sphere. So for here, I put two D sphere because it's it's flat. We did it inside of Microsoft Word. Um, so you can show your references. So this will be our first reference here. Uh, you can also add another slide, another picture slide. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Media and add an image. So this is going to look exactly like that. So I could put this as our reference, and then this will be our completed sphere. Maybe you did multiple spheres, right? Maybe in like the way that that first one came out. So you could have multiple images of your different spheres. So this one here is going to be our reference. Let me go ahead and bring that image in, going back to File Explorer. So this is our reference here that we used. Let's see if it, let's just, just drag it in. So I could delete this one that it already gave me. So I'm going to go and delete this by clicking on the trash. So I dragged it in and my image, my reference is there. The reference that we all used, right? It's right there. So now this second one here, this second image card is going to be the completed, completed sphere or spheres. Let me add reference here again. So that's the reference, right? That's not what we've completed. And it says drag image here. So let me go show you how to convert this Word document into a flat image. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to right click, open. It should open inside of Microsoft Word automatically. It was inside my OneDrive. That's the way it said it was downloading. And this is a, a student's sphere. Let's see. So I could probably even change the orientation of this. So I moved it around. Each of these is a brush stroke, right? So each of these is a brush stroke. And so this will be, this will take a long time for it to load. So let me show you how to, I'm going to go to file, click on save a copy. I'm going to scroll down to where it says browse. And I'm going to change the file format here. So it says save as type. Click on that. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says PDF. I'm going to click on minimum size here. I want to make this file as small as possible. Uh, you could click this off if you want to. Otherwise, it's going to open up inside of Adobe to show you the, what the final image is going to look like. I'm going to click on OK and then click on Save. Again, you want to make sure you're inside that folder. So let's pretend like we didn't take us to this folder here. So I'm going to click back to where it says Documents, the academic year we're currently in, the period you have my class, the semester we're currently in, and the folder for this project. Again, I named this Sphere 2D. The 3D one is where we're actually working on a 3D model inside of Paint 3D. So I'm gonna click on this folder here. And let's see if this is a smaller image. Click on Save. And it's gonna take a little while here because this needs to flatten out all those different brush strokes here. So let's see if that works. Might even say it's not responding because it's saving everything. And again, it's going to open up inside of Adobe Reader to show us the file. So I'm going to go ahead and close this off. Go back to Sway. Click on File Explorer. There's a smaller one there. I'm going to click and drag. So for all those different settings that we did, so it's going to make that image a lot smaller so you could bring it over to Sway. Sometimes if you just bring it over and you don't make those changes, then that image might be too big for Sway here. So let's a little bit further down this image card we don't need this one or added in a card so in case of it does that you could always copy your your caption I'm gonna hold down control and X to cut and control and V next to this image control and V to paste so I need to delete this one here because it automatically added when I drag that image over and in case you put it in the wrong place which I just did you can always hover over it, it'll give you these different arrows, click and drag up. And you get this green bar here. So you have the reference and the completed image. And now we're going to move on to a bigger project. So I can show you all the different references that you could bring in and how you could place those images. So because I had text for that file, that it brought it in as a header. I don't need this here, so I'm just going to go and delete that. So I clicked on it and I'm going to click on this trash can. And so this could be for a bigger project. Again, so this bigger project that I'm going to show you an example for will be the avatar. So that's going to be the title of this project. And you can just click and drag 
your images over the pre-existing images for this template. So I'm gonna go back to File Explorer. I'm gonna click the up arrow because I just need to go to a different project. So if you click on that up arrow, you just, it'll take you up to the next folder up. So I'm gonna click on Avatar. And these are kind of all the files here that I'm gonna need for this portfolio, right? So first thing that we did is we created all our images inside of paint. So those are all images I want to bring in. So let's see if it lets us just drag some of these images over. Um, I'm going to click this final one. I want to see that one by itself. And it made it on its own slide. So I'm going to click this one. I don't need that. And what I did is I clicked on this group grid to expand it. So I want to show each step of this process. So I'm going to click on the, the back side image. I'm going to bring that in. But I want to keep it part of this group for my sway. So that image is there. I could get rid of that one. Going back. We already have the front view. I want that on its own slide. Uh, let's see here. I want the side image part of this grid. Back to File Explorer. I want the top and bottom part of this grid. And I can get rid of these other images. I'm clicking and deleting. And let's see what this looks like, right? So you could always go up here to the top right and click on play. So there's my name, and you can slide over it to show your portfolio. Here's the name of this project. And you can click on these to enlarge them. So here's this grid. I'll probably have to edit this slide. And I just went back to edit. And so as you, as you saw, some of this image got cut off. So I'm gonna click here where it says this, this entire image is important. Otherwise it's gonna trim off some of your, some of your design. So I'm just gonna click at each corner as well. Otherwise you can just click here that the whole image is important. So it's gonna outline this whole image here. Otherwise you could click that off. And I'm gonna click at each corner and maybe hopefully we'll get rid of this little white space down there. All right, I'm gonna click back. I'm gonna go play, see if that made any changes here. Slide over, and now the whole image is showing. So that looks like that helps there. Each of these slides is on its own, so you'd be able to see the, the top, the side, the top and bottom. And we didn't need to add some more slides in here, right? So I'm going to go back to edit. You can add what we're actually looking at. So this is the, this is the back side of my avatar. I'm going to type in avatar back. All right, because sometimes your, your viewer or whoever's looking at your portfolio doesn't always know what they're looking at. So this could be side view. So you can put avatar side view. And if maybe we already know that we're looking at the avatar, right? So you can just put top and bottom view. Wanna add media, wanna add an image. Let's see, I want to bring this down, so I'm going to hover over until I have those different arrows. Click, and I want to pass the grid, because we're showing our progress, right? So I want to be able to see our progress. So these are the images we started with. Then the next thing that we would want to see in a portfolio would be how you created this in Tinker. So I have two different images that are used for Tinker. Here is the final view. I'm going to click on here, click on media image and then you want to do the unwrapped version click 
click on media and image again back to Final Explorer then the next thing we would have would be what your model looks like inside of Tinkercad and it doesn't look like it supports an STL so we're going to go and close that going back to my file explorer I'm going to click on the image and it's going to open up inside of paint and that's okay because then we get to change the view here I'm going to click on 3D view and this is a view that I could just take a screenshot of. So I'm going to hold down Windows Shift and S, or you could click down here where it says type here to search, type in snipping tool, click here, and click on new, and it's going to gray everything out. So it's going to have these little crosshairs here. So I'm going to click from the top left hand corner to the bottom right, and it's going to save a screenshot of that. So I'm going to go back to the top here where it says file, save as. And now we need to go into the folder for our project, right? Because it just took us straight to our pictures folder. So I'm going to go back to documents, the academic year we're currently in, the period you have my class, the semester we're currently in, the folder for this project. And it's going to save it as a PNG. So again, this was inside Tinkercad. And I'm just going to call it an STL so I know what it actually is. So Tinkercad STL. It's not saving as STL format, it's saving as a PNG. So I just want to know the difference. Clicking on save, we should be able to close that out. Going back to my file explorer, we could also close paint here. And there is the STL PNG. If you hover over, it shows you the format. PNG, this is still the Tinkercad. So I'm going to click and drag. Right, so again, I wanted to show you two different examples. This is a smaller project. This is a larger project here that's going to require a lot more slides. Clicking back on media image. And now this is going to be the final product, right? So we went all the way from these, these little rough drafts here to something that's actually printed. Here's a couple of attempts of us trying to print this out. One of them has support material. One of them has breakaway material. And then we click on media image click these final products here maybe I want this one as a front view clicking on media image and then click on that last side view of this printed so we went all the way from a draft to a quick render of this inside of Tinker then actual 3d model and then something printed and then let's click on play, see what that looks like. And then slide over for this template. Maybe your template does something a little bit different. So here's the reference. Here's the completed spheres. So play around with some of these different templates here as well. Some of these are on their own slide, but you can see the, the process here. So again, here is all the different rough drafts that we had. Went into a quick render inside of Tinker. Then we started working in 3D. Maybe you want to change this, right? Because some of this gets cut off, so you could click on that. Or you could click back to where it says edit. I'm going to click on this drop down menu. Click on focus points. And I'm going to click here where it says this entire image is important. And I'm going to click off, go back to play, and see if that made a difference there for that image. So it actually shows the whole image now. And then our 3D renders. Maybe you want this on its own, on its own image. So maybe you want to make give it its own slide. All right, so if you have any questions of how to bring some of these images over, of how to take a Word document, how to flatten it out into a PDF so that you can bring it over to Sway, or maybe you need help converting some of these files, taking screenshots to create your portfolio, go ahead and let me know. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And feel free to watch any of the other related videos.